Hello everyone, my name is Mark Lancaster and I am a product support specialist for Synergis Engineering Design Solution. Just a few days ago, Autodesk released the 2020 version of Inventor and Inventor Professional. And today I wanted to share a new look that comes with this version. In the 2018 release of Inventor, we saw a new measure properties panel. And with the 2019 release, that was carried over into the whole function. With the 2020 release, these properties panels are now part of the extrude, revolve, sweep, and thread functions. But before we get into that, there has been other changes to the panel to make it easier to work with. For example, the first thing you're going to notice in the whole properties panel is everything is neatly left justify, making the transition between each requirement easier to read and follow. In the 2019 version, the whole panel didn't have that feel and sometimes made it hard to focus and follow. Fields needing the NICS input or requirements are highlighted to stand out. As you can see here, I selected the position of the hull and the focus highlight went to the NICS input field to indicate the size of the hull I need to create. Other changes in the property panel allows me to change how the information is presented. For example, I can go to these drop downs and change how it's appeared as icons or drop downs. If I switch to drop down, I can set it to a drop down panel. In addition, based on if you have options, is where you can select. In the 2019 version, you had to select inside the checkbox. Now you can either be on the Word or in the checkbox. One last thing that has changed is the ability to name your feature and sketch instead of doing it through the browser. But the browser method is still available if you want to do that. For example, I can go click on hull and say I want that feature to be called mounting hull. Now when I hit OK, as you can see, it automatically names the whole function inside my browser to that name. So in the Inventor 2020 release, if I select the extrude command, you can see the new properties panel associated to the extrude function. So I'm going to go extrude my rectangle here. And as you can see, another new feature that's been added is the apply button. So I could hit apply, and then I can go back and start extruding that profile. Hit apply, same thing, click on, hit apply. The apply button has also been added to the revolve and sweep function. Now if I select the revolve, you can see the new properties panel for a revolve in 2020. Again, it also has the apply button. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to go to the thread so you can see the new Threads Properties panel. One of the features that have been added to the Thread Properties panel is the ability to say presets, just like in the whole function. And finally, our Sweep Properties panel. It too has a preset ability, just like the whole and Thread, and the Apply button, and another new function, which is a new feature in Inventor 2020 is the ability to sweep a tool body. There you have it, some new looks, features, and functions for Inventor 2020. Take Inventor 2020 out for a test drive. Until next time.